Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm the Sunrise Gecko, and welcome to Pizarro Pizza Deep Dish. So this was a passionate April Fool's Day project by the game developer, and I think it's like a kind of visual novel dating sim for a depressed clown. I don't know. I just liked the bright colors, so let's get into it. <laughs> Uh, go to my goofies. Eh, I'll show you a real clown, Ronald. Ooh, okay, let's, uh, let's just go to, let's just start. I do like the pizza. Help. Can you hear me? Um, no, but I can read what you're saying. Someone. Help. Oh, anyone. A little sad face. Chapter one, the sauce. Okay. Phew, almost done with work. Maybe I'll go somewhere to eat after this. Yeah, sounds good to me. Fresh fish, <laughs> fishy business. <laughs> we can see you. Carp diem sees the ash. I don't get the ash pun, but okay. Life is full of opportunity. This game was made for me, I can tell. <laughs> my name is Anne. I'm a normal girl who lives in a normal town, helping out at my parents' fish market business. Oh, that's cool. The customer's coming up. Hello, Miss Chauvet. A beautiful day in the Calzone, isn't it? Calzone. <laughs> this is me all pun about food. The selection you have here today at the fishy business looks delicious. Thank you. Please take your time. I live in a place called the Calzone, an odd little district on in coastal California. Ah, all right. My name is Anchovy. I love it. <laughs> but not because my parents have a sex sense of humor or anything. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, okay. Best game. Best game ever. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Chovey. It's a beautiful baby girl. Dear, this is wonderful news. Look at how small and adorable she is. Oh, she's a darling. Have you thought of a name for her yet? Yes, ma'am. We chose it before. That would be Anne, spelled A-N-N-E. So, anchovy. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. You're terrible parents. Actually, we'll change it. No. What? No take backsies. And that's the story. But it's alright, because just about everyone here has an odd name. Oh, well. In fact, Calzone residents probably think I'm weird for being named Anne. And you can head off early today. Okay, I will. Guess I'll find a cafe or something. Hmm? Wanted, have you seen him? Oh, Mr. Pennywise. Magical Otoje? I don't I don't I don't know. Some kids are poking at a sewer grate. <laughs> did you really see him here? I did! There was a clown wandering around around the street. Hey now, don't stick stuff in the sewers. That's littering. Oh, it's Anne. Bleh. Don't tell us what to do. You're a kid, too. I'm in my 20s. You look very young. I would have put you about 16, 17. I hold the cheeky kid by the ear. I think that might be abuse. Ack! Let go! Let... Go? The kid freezes in terror. Uh, and Behind you! The, the clown! What? That's not going to work. Let me go! <laughs> Whoa, 
The kid slips out of my grasp and they both run away. What got into them? I turn around and... <laughs> I knew it. Oh, you look so sad. Yeah, no, nowhere near as menacing as Mr. Pennywise. Ah, the sewer clown is real? Wait, if I caught him, imagine how much money that would bring in. <laughs> you know who <laughs> would be paying me royalties. I've wrangled in fish bigger than you. Bring it on. The clown staggers listlessly towards me. I can hear the sound of small change clinking together as he drags himself closer. P please, spare. Sp spare some change. Oh, I can almost afford... An item from the dollar menu. What? What should I do? Spare some change. I mean, clowns aren't inherently evil, despite what some people will tell you. All right. And if he lives in the sewers, of course he's penniless. <laughs> penniless, Pennywise. <laughs> okay. You could say he's not Pennywise. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I give the sad clown a fat dollar. His eyes bulge out of his clown makeup. Oh my gosh! Thank you! Oh, thank you so. Oh. The clown collapses in front of me. I can hear his stomach rumbling through his clown suit. Ah, oh no. Uh, hold on, I'll help you out. Oh, thank you. I'm Pizarro. A clown named after pizza is starving. This is so sad. I'm Anne, let me help you up. I lend the clown my shoulder and help him to the nearest McGoofy's fast food restaurant. Are you sure you want to pay for me, Anne? It's fine, you can use the help. <laughs> You're so nice. It's not a big deal. I can't tell if he's actually crying or it's a sad clown act. Also, I should mention that I'm actually a vegan. Oh, should have let you die. Kidding. 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 Shh, shh. Calm down. Kidding. Nothing wrong with vegans. It's the ones who get aggressive with their veganism that I'm not wild about. No wonder you're starving. <laughs> I'm a vegan out of necessity, not choice. I'm allergic to dairy, and I've had some bad experiences with meat, so now I get sick when I eat it just out of reflex. I can empathize, sir. I have the same thing for pork, to the point that it's become an actual allergy. Like, I've had that much of a bad experience, my body just physically is like, mm -mm, nope, you're shutting down for 24 hours. It's easier to say I'm vegan. I can see that. All right, I understand. I'll go ahead and order then. I walk up to the register. I do not like your judgmental stare, lady. How can I help you? Could I get two orders of fries and I'll take the apples and bananas to each? Sure thing. Are you sure, Anne? None of those items are from the dollar menu. <laughs> yes, yes, it's fine. Seriously, the fries aren't from the dollar menu? Here's a free water cup, too. Oh, okay, so, uh, Suyin? I'm not sure if there's a pun in there, but we'll put a pin in that one. That's very nice of you for the free water cup. For free water? For me? Oh. For your face. I yes, I'll drink the water using my face. <laughs> oh. Okay. No, no, I'm I'm saying you'll scare the customers away if you keep that makeup on. But this is my job. Hmm. You'll have less work to do if he scares away more people. Ah. Very true. Bring the whole clown car next time, won't you? <laughs> After the McGoofy's worker hands out our order, Pizarro and I take a seat. 
Thanks so much for bringing me all the way here, Anne. I'm surprised that you were able to carry me. I have some upper body strength from helping out at my parents' fishery. And he was pretty light. I think his makeup is heavier than he is. Uh, you did mention something about wrangling fish. That's amazing! I'm more amazed at this situation. And I like you. Kind of like Pizarro, too. Pizarro begins eating the banana, but... He's biting into the whole thing without peeling it. You don't have to eat the peel, sir. You're fine. But Pizarro? Yeah? Oh, are you going to eat your peel? Can, can I have it if you don't want it? Be my guest. Actually, I'll just have the apple. Thanks. I always eat these out of necessity, too. Oh, sir. Well, I guess I sort of understand. At least he's not wasting food. Yeah, but can, can the human body really digest the banana peel? Like, won't that... I gotta look that up later. Let me know if you know. Put that down in the comments. I take the sticker off the apple before biting into it. Oh, you're not gonna eat your sticker? Uh, no, Pizarro. I will not. I realize that Pizarro ate the banana peel sticker and all. He's even licking his fingers to get all the glue residue. That's desperation. You know, you probably won't get any calories from eating the sticker. What? Really? Supposedly those stickers are edible. You're not really supposed to peel them off, but that, mm, that bothers me. <laughs> oh, but, oh no, but food is so expensive. Pizarro eats the french fries I bought him as if they were the best thing in the world. I mean, to a starving man, even a meager meal is going to taste wonderful. Well, I can't blame you. Times are tough. I do have a job, though. I'm a professional. Clown? Underwater basket weaver. I can't believe clown is the better option here. Actually, that sounds really cool. Like, scuba gear, I, I could picture? Yeah. The kids I met did think that you were a children-eating sewer monster clown, though. I don't kill kids. I'm a vegan. <laughs> we we know. Shh, shh. Calm down. Shh, calm down. Mr. Pizarro, calm down. And the truth is, I'm not sure if I'm cut out to be a clown. Oh, but it suits you so well. It really does. She's just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> Why are you a clown then? I couldn't make a living off underwater basket weaving, which I majored in. Oh no. An art major. I am so sorry. As a fellow art major, I understand where you're coming from, sir. Ha! Huh. Shocked, really. So you decided to be a clown, the next most stable profession? Actually, my second choice of major in college was microbiology. I would get great scores on the tests. Clearly, you didn't have a passion for it or you would have gone into the more necessary um, field. But I decided to go for my real artistic passion, underwater basket weaving. Well, passion counts for something. If you don't care about what you do, you're not going to be good at it. End of story. Who, Who does that? How could you follow your passion at a time like this? Now you're broke and it's your own fault. Ooh. Calm down. You don't have to yell, Anne. Shh. Everyone just needs to calm down. You too. You're stuck as a starving artist making clown content. Look at yourself. You're right. I guess my dad really hated me becoming a clown too. He kicked me out not too long after I became one. It wasn't bad, though. My teacher was a great person. The average teacher is a great person. You got a few stinkers, but most of them are great people. The clown who taught me everything I know was named Bogo Togo the Bozo. I like Bogo's name. Was? He died tragically after being hit by a cloud car in a freak accident.
I don't know how to feel about this one, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> she's saying what I'm thinking. Well, she's thinking what I was thinking. I bet it was freaky, alright. Wait, aren't clown cars really small, though? How could it have killed him? That was my thought process. There were a lot of clouds back to the car, so it was heavier and just as deadly at high speeds. Ah, I see. Like a bullet filled with clowns. And I guess I've been trying to continue his legacy, but it hasn't gone well. But anyway, aren't you going to eat your fries? They'll get cold. It's okay. You can have them. With meeting you, I've realized that I've truly never been hungry in my entire life. Oof. B but still, Anne... I won't take the fries. You should eat properly. Aww. Pizarro, I like you. You're a decent human being. Or else a lot of terrible diseases and conditions like anemia can happen. Your mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cells, can't function if you don't help them out. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll eat up then. They're just fries, though. And so Pizarro and I became friends. To my surprise, one day Pizarro invited me to his apartment. He lives- okay, I made an assumption, which was my fault. I wasn't surprised that he invited me, but more than he had an apartment, that's what I- Oh, man. <clears throat> Maybe this isn't actually his place and he's just a squatter. Hi, Ed, you're early. I rode my bike here, so I got here sooner than I expected. Ah, uh, I wish I had one of those, too. It'd make traveling so much easier. Or a unicycle. I like the way you think. Sorry, Pizarro. Sharing food is easy, but I can't cut my bike in half. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, make yourself at home. I know there isn't much here, but... Oh, maybe we can stack the baskets to make a chair for you. I look over at the pile of woven baskets next to a bunch of scuba gear. That's alright. I wouldn't want to ruin your merchandise. I take a closer look at the baskets. Wait a second. Wow, these are actually really well made. Yeah, you could actually sell these. Why don't you open a Betsy store or something? Ah! I don't have internet. <laughs> The library offers internet. I'm sure that you could do something with that. And the public library calls the police on me because they think I'm the clown from hmm, a certain movie we all know. <laughs> okay, that solves that problem. You know, take off the makeup. If you take off the makeup first, go in as not a clown. Look at it as an alter ego who's less clowny. Ah. I won't tell him that I thought the same thing. <laughs> I'm glad you like the baskets, though. I had a lot of fun making them. I thought I was good at underwater basket weaving, too. But maybe it wasn't meant to be. I still remember all my skeptics. Uh-oh. Flashback. Baskets? I didn't know the Amish lived here. You fraud! These are too good to be handmade. Fake. I bet he wove those baskets above water. <clears throat> to all of those people. That's what I say. Sounds like he's been through a lot. Nowadays, I don't go to water much anymore because it'll ruin my makeup, too. Sir? I sincerely hope that we can help you. But I don't think Anne is a psychiatrist. You have a lot of great potential. And you are wrapped so much up in this clown thing that you don't seem to be too crazy about. We need to help you. We need to help him. I can't afford to always fix or, and reapply it. Uh, ah, that reminds me. I actually brought you a gift today. A gift? Really? Yeah, it fits perfectly with what we were just talking about, actually. 
Here you go. It's a waterproof makeup set. Oh, Anne, thank you. You're awesome. Wow. I'm actually just re-gifting it to you, so I don't know if it's a clown braid or not. At the very least, it's still brand new. I'd still be thankful, even if it had only one speck of foundation left. Bizarro accepts the gift with gratitude written all over his chalky clown face. Are you sure, though? I thought you'd want to use this since you're near water often. <laughs> I'm having trouble keeping that voice going. It's okay. You need it more than I do. I don't usually wear makeup anyway. You don't? But you're so pretty. I thought, aww. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> thanks, Pizarro. I always smell like fish because of my family store, but I try to keep myself neat at least. Ah. Oh, right. I should return the favor for the gift you gave me. That's okay. It was just a re-gift, remember? But I'm always getting food from you, too. Because of you, my net calories aren't negative anymore. I'd feel guilty if I didn't do anything for you, too. Trust me, I'd feel even guiltier if I took something from you. Two people who seem legitimately nice. But, hmm, can I have one of your baskets, then? I could use one. They seem really useful. Uh, what? So, I'm useful? Yes, you are, sir. You really think so? You are also useful as a distraction. <laughs> um, I was talking about the bass. <laughs> that means so much to me, Anne. It really does. <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing great. Ah, <laughs> uh, all the crying is making your makeup run even more than usual. Oh, you're right. My clown mentor would always scold me for trying for crying too much. I'll go fix myself up. It shouldn't take too long. But in the meantime, you can pick out and take home as many baskets as you'd like. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna take just one. Pizarro goes into the bathroom as I look at the baskets. Let's see. These are actually pretty cute. Just then, I hear a notification buzz from my phone. Ooh, I got a text from my dad asking me to help with some sudden chores. Pizarro? Sorry I couldn't stay longer, but I should... Silence. I hear some kind of clang sound come from outside. Pizarro? It's probably Pizarro, but without the makeup, I don't recognize him. He's got the same beautiful blue eyes. I do like that. And the, um, I mean, the costume underneath, but is that really him? Or is this like a roommate who's like paying the rent because Pizarro doesn't have good funds coming in? I'm going to keep a different voice here. Oh, going so soon? <clears throat> what? Who are you? Uh, huh? The real Pizarro couldn't possibly have more than one set of clothes. That's <laughs> no, don't tell me. Are you a robber? Just so you know, Pizarro has literally nothing for you to steal. Uh, no, Anne, it's me, Pizarro. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, really? If you're the real Pizarro, then... Use those materials to weave a basket right here and right now. Uh, what? But... I can't do it above water. Ah, that's the right answer. Good job, Anne. Is it really you? You look so different. That was my issue. Did you think I always looked like a clown? You were right about the clothes, though. Now that I'm looking closely, he's still wearing his clown shirt underneath. Sorry for doubting you. That's okay. <laughs> At least you don't think I'm the clown from you-know-what or anything. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, my dad asked me to go back home for some chores. 
Good thing I brought my bike. I locked it to the railing outside. I opened the front door to show Pizarro and... Ah! Someone stole the front tire of my bicycle, but left everything else. Does your bike always look like that? No. Maybe the sound I heard earlier was the thief. I swear, I'm not in coots with the robber. I wouldn't even know what to do with a single tire, except maybe turn it into a unicycle. It wasn't me. Yeah, I know, but now I can't ride it home. Ah, just leave it to me, Anne. I'll show you what a real clown can do. Uh, Pizarro, is, is this thing really gonna work? Trust me, I can do it. Okay, hold tight. Oh, Pizarro manages to carry me while balancing the single tire bicycle into a unicycle. You, sir, have more talent than was initially revealed. Hello! Phew, I was worried I wouldn't be strong enough, but I think I can manage. I'm so glad my mentor taught me this trick. In his version, he could balance over five unicycles on top of each other while juggling people and jumping through fire. Pizarro's teacher, whatever your name was, because I can't remember off the top of my head. You were a true hero, sir. Don't you mean hoops of fire? No, he would just jump right through fire. <laughs> I don't know if I can find you fireproof makeup. That's okay. I'm just glad I got this trick to work when I needed it the most. My mentor must be smiling down at me from clown heaven. I think so. Oh good, the clowns go to a separate heaven. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, you don't like clowns, Anne? They're okay. <laughs> I think lately I've come to think of them as a sli in a slightly more positive light, though. Ah, that's good to hear. But to be honest, I don't really like clowns either. M much less being one. What? You don't even like doing this? Then get a real job! Oh, don't shake me, we're gonna fall! After that, I just let Pizarro have my bike and use it as a unicycle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna save it right here. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Alright, because I need a break. I'm probably gonna film all of this in one setting, but it's gonna come out in separate episodes, because, um... The show must go on for the filming challenge that Sam and I have coming up here in a couple of weeks. I want to get some stuff pre-recorded and ready, so after the filming challenge, I usually don't want to even look at my filming equipment for a while, so this is just kind of getting stuff built up ahead of time, so I don't have that conundrum. <laughs> but anyway, that was chapter one of... I forgot the name of the game. But that was chapter one. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. I mean, I'm loving it, so regardless, I'm going to continue playing it. But I hope you guys are enjoying it, too, because it's a lot of fun. It's name your own price, so if you guys want to play it for yourselves, uh, I'll put a link down in the description. Show the creator some love, because clearly the writing is very clever, and I'm loving the art style. And uh, come on back for part two, where we continue this wonderful, hilarious, heartfelt journey. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>